Greetings all and welcome back to Alpha Minecraft. Um, this will be uh, sadly our last episode in Alpha 1.0.4. Uh, 1.0.4 is of course just a sub-update in the wider update of Alpha 1.0. Uh, so we will be moving on to the next one in the launcher, which I believe off the top of my head will be Alpha 1.0.5 or Alpha 1.0.5 underscore 01 or 02, one of those. Um, but yeah, we'll be moving updates, which should be exciting. Um, now, while it's just a sub update, I think things do get added, like significant things like perhaps, I don't think boats get added or discs, but they get added in the sub update after that. So, you know, it's not just an update for bug fixes and all that. Maybe in some updates there won't be things added, but who knows. Anyway, um, I decided to work a bit on paths this episode because I really... Obviously, we don't have the nether. Uh, we don't have the... Well, mine, we do have minecarts, but they're not that good. I've not figured out how to work them yet. So we're just going to have to rely on paths. So what I want to do is... Currently, we've got half slabs that... Uh, helps the change in elevation. I'm going to see if stairs look any better. Uh, as you can see, I've just gone for a solid uh, path of cobble. Now, cobble, it it doesn't look that great, but it's really the only option we've got. I could do gravel, but, gra well, I say gravel's not readily av available, but I've got quite a bit of it. Let's just see how stairs look in the change of elevation. Do they look better or worse? Now, you don't get corner stairs, um, and they do exactly the same job, really, as just regular slabs. Um, I don't know, I kind of prefer the slabs in some ways, I don't know why. But at the same time, I don't think they're any worse than the slabs. Well, anyway, we, we can touch on that later. Um, I was reliably informed by Mr. 3D Spodders, who is a very, very worthy assistant <laughs> in this series, because he... Oh, Dear, it's turning night. Uh, but yeah, he certainly um, pointed out certain things I didn't know, or certain features, or certain bugs, or whatever. Um, and he's told me that if you hold F1, you can take a screenshot. So let's try that. Holding F1. Now, I did see a lag spike. Right, so watch this. See, no, no message came up, but you don't tend to get messages in this update. But if I hold F1... Okay, never mind. I thought I thought there was going to be a lag spike. If I hold it, yeah, maybe there is a screenshot. I don't know. I'll have to go and check the uh, the the folder. I assume it would go to the same folder. Um, and I think it was F1. He said, if it wasn't, then I'm going to have to review what he said and try again. Um, we're currently building a road out the back of the house. I'm going to put down a few torches just to uh, keep the area lit. Um, but yeah, I'm currently just putting down this path out the back of the house or the base or whatever you want to call it. Currently taking it to the water. So I purposefully chose the seed because there's very, very little ocean around. Often you find, and I've said this before, often you find in these updates there is a lot of ocean, a lot of sand. Thankfully we don't have too much because I uh, chose the seed before I started the world. And so that's what we are working with. But it would be nice to have a bit of water, or access to water. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to go to the nearest substantial body of water, which is this way. This is whatever direction this is. See, the sun rises there, so you'd think that'd be the east. But I think in Minecraft, in the early versions, the sun rose in the north or the south or something like that. I will have to check up on that. Um, but yeah, whatever direction this is, that's the way we're going to the water. Uh, might do some building there, not sure. Um, one thing I do want to well, talk about is in the old alpha updates, like if you go back and watch, well, I'm not sure whose uh, series are still on YouTube. I, I'm assuming quite a lot of the old series will be, but if you watch people like CNanners, well, I never watched CNanners. I watched uh, CoStar. I've seen good series. Um, obviously, I watched Ethos, although his was um, not quite as old as theirs. Um, but if you watch their series, they do a lot of episodes, but they don't accomplish much, and that's not to seem elitist, but what that basically says is the game has evolved a lot, and back in the day, a series would often just be very straightforward in that you would do, uh, I don't know, you'd dig a mine or something, and that would uh, 
that would constitute one episode. But obviously nowadays with single player series, people try to make them unique, people try to cram a lot in, I do as well, uh, it's just the way it's done. And we're up to episode, what, like 14 I want to say? And so, you know, in comparison to a lot of other alpha series from back in the day, I think we've done quite a lot for 14 episodes. Uh, well, it's actually 15, because if you count episode 0, but that... Episode 0 didn't really count, hence why it was episode 0. But no, the point is, we've accomplished a lot. Um, and, you know, I always want to slow the series down a bit, but at the same time, I kind of like the pace it's going at. It's just, you need to keep thinking of things, you need to keep uh, coming up with ideas and that. And um, I'm doing alright. The fact that uh, I keep getting ideas from the comments helps. And the fact that... You know, things crop up like we found a spawner recently and that's enabled us to uh, get another project underway over there. You know, there's a lot I want to do, but obviously it's harder to pull stuff off with A, a lack of resources and B, a lack of, um, well, you don't have beacons, for example, to provide haste. You don't have efficiency five pickaxes, so digging out, gathering resources, all that can be a lot more tedious in this episode, uh, in this version compared with other versions so i need to keep this well lit because i am aware that alpha is very dark i've not seen too many mobs actually and this uh as we know this update has been renowned for one i just as i say that i saw a creeper on a tree in the distance um but yeah no i, I i'm i think i'm content with the way the series is going but i would like to uh, I don't know, make it as relaxed as possible. I'm always looking to evaluate things, make them as easy to do as possible, but also keep the semi-enjoyment factor in as well. I say semi-enjoyment, because <laughs> I, I honestly don't know uh, how good or bad these are. But who knows? We're almost out of blocks, so you'll be glad to know we'll have to uh, leave this for another time. But yeah, we're just going to head to a body of water. You might be able to see. I guess we could take a walk. Uh, actually, no, I think we'll, we'll have a look at it in the morning because currently, well, it's only midnight. But yeah, it's probably going to be very difficult to see uh, in the darkness. I do plan to do some terraforming at this side of the base. Um, oh dear, there's mobs. Mobs in there. Dozens over there. Uh, I would like to do a bit of an underground lake over here, similar to what I did before on the other side. Yeah, I've actually got quite a few arrows. That uh, skelly grinder is coming in very, very handy. So, I'm not going to say no. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We should probably just run away. Oh, they're invading my base. That is not allowed. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, I do want to build a bit of a a lake here, kind of an, well not an underground lake obviously because it's only, uh, it's partially underground, it's an overhang almost, um, I'm very paranoid that creeper's going to walk up behind me, um, but no the point is, it's going to be difficult to put it here because I do want to kind of make a room here, is that guy seeing me? No he's not, I'm turning it, okay he has seen me now, uh, excuse me a minute, I'll just uh, deal with that guy, um, but yeah, as you can see I'm hoping to maybe put some rooms here, uh, so what we might do, and by rooms I mean like future rooms of the patch museum, so what we might do is have to like go down stairs or something so we can, uh, well, access the room below the lake and we can still have the lake. I'm not sure, uh, I'm just thinking hypothetically, but it's really good because we've got some natural waterfalls which we might be able to utilise. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, you probably can't. Having said that, I've been watching. I watched one of the videos back, and it doesn't actually seem as dark as I remember it from back in the day. Because back in the day, it was like pitch black. Maybe YouTube's just got better at lighting videos or whatever in the last like eight years or however long it's been. But yeah, we've got waterfalls over there. Not sure if you can see that. I'm gonna pick some mushrooms because why not? Yeah, so some wa waterfalls here. Got a tree. Yeah, so kind of if we make this area a bit of a lake, I think that would look quite nice. I'm not sure. And then obviously we've got the path over here. And yeah, I think it should look okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be alpha without a few pigs prancing around in the base. Underground where they shouldn't be spawning. Well, hopefully this will be sorted sooner rather than later. 
Oh look, yeah my animal catcher seems to be working very well. I'm worried I'm going to turn around one of those days and it'll be a it'll be a creeper but uh, whatever. Okay so I think we'll make the lake at this level here so we don't have to do too much digging. Uh, I'm not sure the shape of it and I'm not well or maybe we could do it at this level. See I don't want to do too much digging but at the same time I still want to make it look half decent and I want it to be fairly expansive. So what we'll do then is we'll just dig out some of this. It doesn't matter if it looks a little bit fabricated, at least in my opinion it, that would uh, that would be fine. Uh, let's put that there, get another spade. Did bring a decent supply of iron. It's always important to bring iron with you as you never know when you might need to replenish your uh, your tools or your full diamond that's about to break. Or maybe we could put it up one block, like here. And from there, just have it in layers. That might work. It's gonna. Well, actually, no. It's harder to make a lake like that though, because water doesn't create source blocks above non-solid blocks. So water doesn't create source blocks above water, which is going to be a problem. Oh, you know what? And then we could have like the edge of the lake, maybe like over here, and then we could have a lower lake here. I think that might look decent. So we can cordon that off like that. Let's grab the flower before it's washed away in the flood. It's really difficult to just figure things out here. Well, let's get started. We can we can edit the terrain as and when we feel like it. What? Okay, well apparently that didn't work. Um, I only brought one source block with me. I'm going to have to go get some more. To explain the uh, non-solid block uh, hypothesis, basically, or rather the formation of water, as you can see, I'm in a too deep water pool here, or a too deep section of this water pool. If I remove water here, like there, then that water block is gone because it, no new water block can be created above another water block, at least not in this version. I mean, you can rectify it by doing that and then digging away, but obviously that makes more work. Uh, I, this was actually in the game for a long, long time. They did eventually sort it so that you could create source blocks above non-solid uh, blocks such as water, such as glass, things like that, glowstone I believe. Um, so yeah, they did fix it eventually, um, but I do remember back in the day it was very, very problematic if you wanted to build, um, you know, lakes or whatever, more more than one deep lakes, which is what we're trying to do here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get away with it, we might just end up expanding the one deep section, uh, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes. So immediately it's it's fairly straightforward when it's just like one deep. We can easily spread the water uh, like so. Uh, so currently as you can see we've got the one deep pool at the minute. Um, we might try and do the two deep pool now like at the, the level above. Okay so far we've just got a lot of water strewn about. It's all um, just flowing freely which is okay, um, but that's not the worst of it. Uh, we're just going to try and create a source over here, an infinite source, so that we can we don't have to always go to the uh, one deep part of the lake. Um, but yeah, not, that's not the worst of it. The worst of it will be when we come to try to make it, uh, it too deep over there. Uh, we're going to have to really consider how we're going to do that. Not sure if you can see, you should be able to, it's still fairly light, although it will be turning night soon. We've also got Mr. Spider over there that decided to spawn randomly. See, the problem is, in this version, there are, in fact, no beds, and therefore, we're actually going to have to put some lights down, because I, I can't actually see at this point. Um, but yeah, there are no beds, so once it turns night, you've got to either work through the night, brave the mobs, or... Uh, you're just going to have to go inside and do something else and wait until uh, it turns day, which is actually why, kind of why I've got this sort of a base in the in the ground, is so I do have that option to go inside. Um, but if you think about it, the problem is that obviously there's only so much you can do. Well, I guess I could start something else, but once you are out of ideas for inside, then you've... Oh, no, 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 this is the guy from earlier. Flip it, heck, my armour is going to take a beating. Uh, it kind of did, didn't it? Alright, whatever. Um, 
But yeah, that's actually, believe it or not, what inspired Ethel's base in his current series, is because back in his alpha days, he used to have to, like, he had his base outside and he had to wait until the sun rose, or, well, that's not the sun, but, you know, the sun rises in that direction, um, or from that direction, he had to wait until the sun rose so he could start his episode, and uh, in his second world, or technically his third, but... Um, for the sake of argument, it's his second. <laughs> um, he decided to make his base underground so he didn't have that problem. That being said, at that time, um, beds were obviously in the game, so you could easily just skip the night and it wasn't that much of an issue, but it's just one of these things, isn't it? It's, um, oh dear, no, 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 that's not good. Um, yeah, it's something, beds are just something I take for granted now in current versions, but now, uh, you know, you don't know how much I would give for a bed and the ability to skip the night. So here in the tree farm we seem to have come across a big issue. It's not a new issue but it seems to be more prevalent than before. Um, yes, our crops have all been trampled by someone or something. Um, probably more the latter than anything else given the fact we've seen many many farm animals in there. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Really really hoping that goes away soon, although from memory I don't think it does. Uh, but anyway, the good news is we have, or I have, off camera, finished the lake, decided just to go ahead and do it all. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's come out, uh, although I would kind of like this grass to grow a bit, or maybe we could change that to stone. Well, okay, either way we'll just get the grass growing uh, as best as we can. Uh, I'm probably going to change this gravel out with stone, just because it's kind of ominous having gravel in the ceiling like that, uh, just waiting to drop at any moment. Got another uh, mini lake down here. It does kind of look fabricated, but I mean we can uh, we can get by. I think it looks okay. We got a nice uh, waterfall here. Uh, I was thinking of having another lake up there and then having water cascading down, but I'm happy with the view as it is now. I don't think we need to add anything else to it. Might add some lights in there just to give it a bit of a glow. I don't know. Just wait and see. Um, but yeah, overall, it's looking it's looking pretty promising. Uh, since it's daytime, I shall go and show off the pool of water, or the lake, or the loch, or the sea, or whatever you want to call it. It's just over here in this direction. So for those that might need to get their bearings, uh, we've got our path. You can just see in the distance there. Uh, and over here, we have got the body of water which is fairly expansive, although, as you can see, it's not, like, endless. In fact, there's some cool mountains over there. I might go and check those out. There's also a nice... You, just, you can just see the outline of a mountain there, too. This, this seed is... It just keeps getting better. It's definitely, I would say, the best world I've ever generated. It's a pretty neat stack. I think it looks better from a distance, to be honest, but, I mean, that's not taking anything away from it. It still looks decent up close. And the sea, yeah, the sea's way more expansive, like, once it goes through there. I've got I've, I've got a good idea for a build there. I don't know why. We could get some sort of a port build here or something. I, I really don't know. Um, but that's just, like, thinking ahead. <laughs> I don't want to, like, rush it or whatever. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. Off camera, I will probably work on the uh, sea a bit more, or not the sea, the the mini lake we've got going. I'll probably switch out the gravel for uh, just regular stone. Might add some lights, not sure. Might add some trees. Again, I'm not really sure. We don't have bone meal in this version, so it's just a case of plant saplings and hope to heck they grow. Uh, and I might extend this path a bit more. We'll just wait and see. Oh dear. Oh, no, 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 no. I got jumped. I got jumped in my own base. <laughs> oh my gosh. My helmet's almost gobbed. Oh, well, that was... Wait, can they actually spawn on leaves? So here's the thing, right? I was going to show this off. You can place torches on leaves, which makes me believe the properties of leaves is different to how it is now. So maybe uh, mobs can spawn on leaves. I need to probably research that. But how else would the guy have got up there? There's no way uh, he would have got up there if it wasn't for you know, spawning on them. So I might have to put lights above the trees then. That might be an idea. 
but yeah, that was blooming terrifying. Okay, so the lake is effectively uh, finished. It is too deep, which was a pain to get going, but we got there in the end. Um, I, well, I guess I could still remove some of that soil. I've been removing gravel and soil and all that, just to give it a, a cleaner look. Uh, here, let's just head up there real quick. This is a one deep area, so it's not like we're going to mess this up. Um, but yeah, I think it looks it looks okay. I've kind of shaped it with the land slightly, as in the bits the the, the bits of dry land there. They were already um, at that elevation. I didn't have to dig or add blocks to it in any way, shape, or form. So this is the most annoying part: is there's no shift key. So if you want to like build bridges, you've got to be very careful as to how much you. Uh, like edge your character along if you like. Uh, will that be fine? We can maybe add some more there. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, you can't, there's no shift key, so you just have to like edge it along very, very carefully until you're just hanging off the block. Like, look at this, if I wanted to build a bridge, I'd have to do that. You can't just like, you know, <laughs> speed bridging is a far, far cry from uh, where I'm at in this version. But yeah, I just went for a nice clean look. Uh, there is still grass around, which adds a bit of colour variation. Uh, we've got a bit of a stalactite here, which looks pretty interesting. Got caves up there. Uh, overall, this is a is a fairly interesting place, I would say. Uh, and I'm going to leave the lights here until the grass regrows. Uh, the grass won't die in the darkness, but obviously if it gets, well, becomes soil, then it's going to um, it's not going to grow back basically so that's why I'm going to leave the torches there. Uh, to end this episode uh, I'm just going to spend some time uh, building this road a bit more. Uh, I think, well it, it feels like I've got a lot done even though I've just built a lake. It might not seem like much and obviously I built a lake up there despite the fact there was lakes there, there, there and over there so it's it was really nothing special but uh, whatever. Just something I wanted to do. So yeah, currently, um, my method of upgrading, or updating, to the next version uh, is... Well, I've got a plan in my head. I'm not going to say what it is, because I guess that's part of the fun for everyone else, to just um, find out when and how I'm going to be upgrading. Um, but currently, it's it's going to be on a, uh, a set number of episodes kind of thing. It's It's kind of on a... Um, I wouldn't say a pattern as such. It's not part of a pattern, but it's uh, it's linked to a pattern. Um, we spent ten episodes in InfDev, and we've only spent four in Alpha One Point Zero Point Four. Basically, I don't want to spend like so many episodes in each update. Although it would be fun to do so, uh, it's obviously unrealistic. So we're going to have to just uh, manage time as well as we can. Make sure we get the most out of an update uh, while progressing at an acceptable rate. So that's really what we're looking at. This will be the last episode, as I said, in Alpha 1.0.4. Uh, next episode we will be upgrading to the next one. Again, I don't remember what that is off the top of my head, but uh, we shall find out uh, next time I upload one of these, which could be tomorrow. Uh, but equally it could be in a month, so you'll just have to wait and see. I'll just have to wait and see because I don't even know. Um, so, at this point I actually feel like doing a bridge of sorts and then maybe having a little river. I think a little river would be nice in this sandy area. Let's get rid of all that. Um, now we can work on that another day, I guess. Don't know how we would do it. It would have to be a diagonal bridge over there, maybe. Yeah, I, I really don't know. We could turn this all into a lake, <laughs> to be honest. I, I, I have no idea. But, uh, but yeah, that's part of the fun of it. Just thinking up things like that. Um, anyway, I did want to get one or two other things done, but I'm aware time is short. Uh, again, next episode we'll be updating, so hype for that, I guess. And yeah, hope you enjoy this episode. All the best, wherever you may be. I will see you next time.